guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino. I'm Adam and this is Twyla and we're heading to the town of Kiyama. But to get there, if we've gone on the Sea Cliff Bridge. This bridge has opened up in 2005 and it's 665 metres in length. And it is incredible. It's been in a lot of movies and TV shows. Have you seen Big Little Lies? Yeah, Big Little Lies was in. It is incredible. So what we're going to do is drive over it and show you guys what it looks like when you drive over it from the point of view from the car. Um, well, from the van but yeah it's just incredible and then we'll head into town and uh, we'll show you around Kiyama wow. look at this I don't know many people who have gone down this way this is amazing We couldn't help but stop again because of these amazing views. Adam, where are we? What town is this? Uh, Scarborough. Scarborough. And you can see so much in the back. I'll, I'll turn the camera around and show you what we're seeing. But it's just so beautiful. And um, I wish we could camp right here. But no, I'm going to keep moving on. We but before we do, up. no, no, you can't camp here. <laughs> but we'll show you the view. Well, we've just arrived to Kendall's Beach Holiday Park and we're not going to waste any time because it is getting later in the afternoon. We want to go find something to eat. We want to show you around this beautiful place and I should show us, show our actual campsite. Hey, it's actually a really nice spot. So this is us. It's got this bit of a turf here um, so we can set up our table. We've got our van here. Now I just want to turn around and show you the next bit. Pretty exciting. I'm going to spin around. And that's our view. How awesome is that? Anyway, let's go get a closer look at this and uh, go out for dinner. So now we're just walking past the G'day Caravan Park, which is right next door to where we're staying. And um, this is their beach. Well, the beach that's next to them anyway. It's looking beautiful. And we're probably gonna head over somewhere around here, somewhere to eat. Just behind the beach we were just at, or we just walked past, is this park it has a play equipment so there's kids can come down and play they've got barbecues tables there's heaps of on-street parking there's a restaurant over here and we're just heading down this way to go check out the menu of this place i don't know what it's called but we're about to go find out oh that's the name of the park if you want to know and uh adam's a bit hot <laughs> it is hot isn't it it is hot Whew, we're gonna have to go for a swim it's tonight. actually very humid yeah 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 very humid. <sighs> see melbourne it's when it's hot it's well, it's hot. well, when it's hot, it's hot. But this is and humid. then in the evening yeah. it cools down, even though it's a hot day. Yeah. But here it was hot and humid. Hot and humid. Anyway, let's go check out this restaurant. So it's only been a 14-minute walk into town, and um, this is awesome. So we've had a few. There's a pub. There's a fish and chip shop we could have eaten at. There was a little restaurant, and there's a f even a few more places down here. So we still haven't decided. So Adam's just still looking at 
where else we can eat. We've been very picky tonight. But yeah, this is the main bit of town, I suppose. Um, and you got more beach down there. Look at all that tequila. Well, we're definitely not a Mexican, are we? <laughs> no, I was gonna say feeling hot, hot, hot. Feeling <laughs> no, no. What's that? What's that's that that's thing? not Mexican. No, what is it? I don't know. That's something. Brazil. Else. Brazil. Anyway, so this is where we are. Can you say it, Adam? Yes. L. Yes. <laughs> Go. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm not going to put an Italian twang. Okay. Try not to, but I think I probably will. Um, Al Cazone, no, Al Carizona Conchita de Mexico. Ah, hola. hola. <laughs> I don't know. I, I should know all this because I've been to Mexico and I'm going back there. So, but you um, need to, yeah. You need this, to prepare your, your, I know, I've got to get prepare my gut, if anything. But um, yeah, this price is a reasonable it looks really good it looks even better inside but we obviously we can't go inside we've got twilight but the benefit is we have this outdoor section that we've got a beautiful view of the beach across there and it just looks so magical so we'll enjoy eating here Can't come and have Mexican without having one of these bad boys. It tastes absolutely delicious. And well, I'll show you what Adam's got in a minute, but let me just get some of this down. All right, that looks so good, Adam. What have you got? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, <laughs> but it tastes it was just, good. It was, this is the adult Slurpee, but Mexican version. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's some um, strawberry flavor. Oh, Adam. Oh. Oh. Two second rule. Two second rule. <laughs> It is so in a while. Yeah, but they so good. We've actually put through the blender mint. So as you get it's it's um you like specks the mint. of mint. Yeah. And it is oh, so yeah, you can see it. It's like really tiny. How yeah, yeah. cool is that? It's like little pepper bits. Oh yeah, um, awesome. It is so good. Nice. <laughs> Alright, Adam, run us through what we've ordered. I'm just going to put it in simple terms. Okay, here we go. <laughs> corn. Corn. char grilled. Yes. With a Mexican salsa. Yes. And they're called like a crema, a Mexican crema. I'm not Mexican sure what it is. Yep. I think it's like a mayo. Yes. I think. We'll go with With that. a salad in between of some sort. Now these are Then we've got, the, we've got the shredded beef with a flour wrap tortilla. Yep. I think fried. I think it's fried. Yep. Guacamole. A spicy sauce. And then the same as that sauce. Yes, looks. We'll yeah, call looks it the special similar. Mexican looks sauce. Similar. And then we've got a flour. Is that a flour tortilla? Flour, flour taco? Or is it a tortilla? A flour? Flour mini tortilla. Oh, actually, no, I think it might be a corn tortilla. Oh, no, I mean yeah. flour. We're not sure. Corn or flour. It's either corn or flour. Actually, I think it's flour. So and fun. then we've got the pork belly. It's the guacamole. It's like a beetroot, a bit of feta. Rock it. And yeah. they have a lime. That looks great. Right. All right, yes. let's dig in. Now, how was dinner? It was really good. It was really, really good. It tastes so good. Really nice. So now for a little walk back. And- um, Are we getting bitten? I oh know, we gotta hurry back because we're getting bitten. We forgot to put on the mozzie spray. And Adam normally doesn't get eaten, but even he's getting eaten. Yes. But look at this view, absolutely gorgeous. And that's just across from the restaurant. What a way to wake up. This view is to die for. The sun is rising and it's absolutely magnificent. Love it.
Well, that's one way to wake up. Go for a quick dip. <laughs> I'm a little bit wet now and I uh, better head back and wake up Twyla and Adam. I was just thinking before I get them up, let me take you around this beautiful caravan park and show you where we're staying. Welcome to Kendall's Beach Holiday Park. Let's go in and check out the facilities and the accommodation. this stunning view at our window and these two aren't even getting up Tyler's still getting comfortable and just falling asleep Are you guys come on you know how much opportunities out there today to get out there and go see the world Twyla Adam yeah that's it all right so Twyla's not allowed on the beach but Adam wants to go in there we can't leave her in the van because she'll get upset so we're not put her on the beach we're put her in her backpack and gonna put her on Adam's back hey Adam yes. <laughs> then Adam can go in the water Twyla can watch let's just don't fall in because then she'll fall in <laughs> and um she's been quite docile we had to inject her to get her this calm no we didn't, no, we didn't. and um but no no she's she doesn't mind it she's all cuddled up she's gonna fall asleep anything you and like we, a new you new bag to buy that you we'll like have a, it we'll have an episode Yay. on this and how we get her in there really. yeah adam wants to do a full episode so this is that um backpack we brought in sydney Do you think Twyla's loving it? You're loving it, Twyla? Yay! <laughs> I think she wants to really hop in. <laughs> By having this backpack, it's going to open so many more experiences for us. Those tracks where it's a little bit more riskier for Twyla to be on, she can be in the backpack now and um, she won't have to walk it. All right, let's head back and get ready for the day. Have some brekkie. So we're back from our walk with Twyla. Well, Twyla didn't walk, she just hopped in the backpack, lazy thing. But um, I'm cooking something really different for breakfast this morning. I thought we had some halloumi left over. Well, not left over, we just hadn't had it yet. It was in the fridge. And we had some bacon and about one half a tomato. So that's breakfast, it's gonna be so delicious. So here it is, our halloumi. There's our one half a tomato. <laughs> and our bacon cooking away. And now I'm just going to pour some coffee because we definitely need a coffee and um, get this day started. This has turned out pretty awesome. I know it's pretty sad with only one tomato, but hey, you just got to use what you can use out of your fridge. But this looks really good. How's breakfast with a view? Mm. No. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? Squeaky cheese. Something different, hey? Blimey. It's so squeaky. Mm. <laughs> so this is our view this morning from our van. We just thought we were gonna go on the beach, but we thought it's just easy to have it have it here. Have my coffee, sitting back in the van. <sighs> so good. We are on our way out of the park, but such a great idea. They've put their dump point right as you leave. 
so it's right here and they've got a little pulling section so you can dump all your waste out um, now if you're new to van life the dump point is where you empty your toilet out if you use toilet we only use our toilet for number ones not number twos um, so it's pretty easy simple thing just pour it in down the drain and then you rinse it out and pop it back in with some chemicals if you use chemicals um, there's all different you know environment friendly stuff you can use that's what we use anyway Adam's back now for dropping the key off so he's done that while I emptied the toilet and we are ready to head out today. We're now we've heard about this bluff that's meant to be really cool. So we're gonna go down there and check it out. So we just rocked up to the lighthouse. It is so windy, I feel like we're gonna get blown away. Kiama Lighthouse, also known as Kiama Harbour Light, is an active lighthouse in Kiama. Established in 1887, 10 years after the creation of the Robertson Basin, the man-made Kiama Harbour. The lighthouse sits 36.5 metres above sea level. The name Kiama has long been translated as where the sea makes a noise. And nowhere this is more clearer than the world famous blowhole. So we're now at the blowhole and this is it right here. So soon water will come out and splash all over us. It has a 2.5 metre wide opening and has been Recorded at heights of more than 30 metres. So I've just come back into town, now literally a two minute walk from where we ate last night. You go underneath the train tracks and you end up in the big part of town, which we didn't even know existed to now. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. There's all these cute shops behind us. So we're gonna go take a look at these and then we're gonna find somewhere for lunch and enjoy this town again. If you wanna find these shops, I've just seen a sign that's got Collins Lane. So Collins Lane, look up Collins so yeah. Lane shops and it's around that area. So we'll walk past these ones first and then we'll go to the main street. Adam, always looking for a new hat. Oh, you still haven't got a new one, have you? No, looking for a new colour. A new colour? That one's not bad. It's very similar, though, isn't it? Yeah, very similar. Oh, Adam, they've got a lolly shop. Oh, oh you're a sucker for a lolly shop. shop. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. They've only got the sign up there, big sign saying lollies and these big lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> have a look go on, anything? go have a look. Do you want anything? Nah, I don't want anything. Alright. People of our generation and older would like to know what this is. Oh, it's a Twinkie. It's a Twinkie. Oh, cool. What else did you get? That's for you. Oh, thanks. And I'll put this down. And for you, no spoiler, you can't have that. <laughs> oh, heap of licorice, yum. And then for me, I've never seen this before. But this is going to call a Willy Wonka, pretty sure. I don't know oh, what it is. Yeah, brand. It's very Willy Wonka. I don't know if it's like American or is it British or whatever. But um, a Charleston shoe, strawberry, it says here. 
nougat with a delicious chocolatey crunchy and, ch and strawberry flavour. Oh, nice. All right. So, that's Give mine. it a go. I absolutely love seeing these trees. They're always so beautiful. I don't know what they're called. Comment down below if you know. But aren't they just beautiful the way they wrap around and so pretty. In some ways, I'm glad we didn't come down this street last night because we would have been spoiled for choices. So many restaurants, cafes, places you can sit and eat, it is absolutely amazing. Adam's just gone into the ice cream shop, couldn't help himself getting ice cream before lunch. But anyway, we'll enjoy that. Adam and I love these little collective shops. You come in and they have all little stores. You can walk around. The staff are always beautiful. Um, it's normally manned by one of the people that have a store here. And uh, yeah, they're just a whole heap of stuff. A lot of Australian made things. Not saying it's all, but a lot of it is. And uh, it's just really nice to go through and see all these magical little stores. And um, I've already seen a couple of things I might get. Look out how fully stocked this art store is. How amazing is this? It's so hard to find good paints and they've got a bit of everything here. It's absolutely amazing. Well, they've got something for the whole family here, haven't they, Adam? Dog Twilight. treats, dog things, dog pram. Hey, we've got a bag, why not get the pram? And oh, look at Twyla's getting straight into it. Get off there, Twyla, get in trouble. So who are these guys? Okay, that's them there. And there's a bit of a story there. Oh, we went to this shop, didn't we? Yes. We yeah, went we've been one. there. We brought up um, some treats for Twyla there. I wonder why she's smelling them. And um, they've got some fantastic stuff. So it's good to see them again in this town. That was in, oh. Yeah, you test me there. You test me there. Oh, I yeah. So blank. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. We're so, so bad. much with that. I'm sure if you know, if you know from watching our episodes, let us know so we know. <laughs> So we've decided on what we're eating for lunch. Well, we're not eating well, we're here, are we? We're going to go by the coast somewhere. But what we're are we fish having? Chips. Fish and chips? Yeah. So we've decided on uh, Jaws. <laughs> That's a bit cliche, isn't it? And um, yeah, so we've just got ordered some, what did you order? Fish and uh, chips. Blue Renanier battered with some Ooh. chips and we've got you some potato cakes. Oh, actually they said scallops. So scallops. Potato scallops, yeah, we're in New They've got no dim sims here. They've no dim sims? I've got you a uh, spring oh roll. God, what is this place? All right, well, we've got a nice view for lunch at least. Adam, you ready for lunch? Yep. Got our fish and fun. chips, can't complain. I mean, you know, it's pretty good. Like, talk about um, a, view a view for free. How good is this? This is the best part about having a van like this where it fits in a normal car park and you can pull up, have lunch and enjoy a view like this.
So to walk off that food, we thought we'd just walk down and show you that they do have a fish market here. So on the board today, it looks like they've got some snapper, if you want to come along and buy some snapper. Um, this is in the little port here, it's really cute, um, which takes you up to the main street up there. And then around here, there's actually a swim pool, so an ocean swim pool. So let's go down and check that out. to come and swim with a view. How awesome is this? Love to hop in, but we need to start thinking about heading off. Well, that's it for another episode. We've had so much fun in Kayama. Hopefully that's how you say it. Yeah, that's right. I think, <laughs> um, yeah, that has been surprising. Well, it's been a pleasant surprise. We didn't know what to expect, but um, we really we enjoyed didn't. our time here. It was great. Mexican dinner was delish last night. Absolutely so amazing. We, re we recommend going to that restaurant if you're in town. Just obviously do a street walk. There's plenty to see and do around here. And obviously you've got the coast, you know, being a coastal town, you've got the lighthouse and um, all the water side. Yeah, if you're a sucker for a view, this is definitely a place to come, especially if you've got a van like us, you can back it up and get the nicest views. It's so cool. And um, yeah, and there's the caravan, there's a few caravan parks here. And we did run into one young lady that was free camping last night. We don't know 100% if you can, but that's definitely something you could look into. But otherwise, we hope you've enjoyed it. If you're new to our channel, make sure you go down and help our channel grow by liking, subscribing, and telling your friends about us. But until next week, we'll see you then. See you, see you guys. guys. Bye.